on June 1, 2024, anticipation was high at Cape Canaveral as Boeing's Starliner prepared for its historic mission to the International Space Station. The mission, known as Crew Flight Test, marked a critical milestone in Boeing's efforts to develop a spacecraft that rivals SpaceX's Crew Dragon. Veteran NASA astronauts Butch Wilmore and Suni Williams were set to become the first crew to fly aboard Starliner, a spacecraft designed to expand the US's options for ferrying astronauts to space. Inside the control room, engineers and technicians meticulously monitored every aspect of the launch sequence, ensuring everything was on track for the 12.25 p.m. liftoff. But just minutes before liftoff, an automatic hold was triggered by the ground launch sequencer, halting the countdown at 3 minutes and 50 seconds. Wilmore and Williams were safely extracted from the capsule and returned to crew quarters as mission teams worked to diagnose the issue. Tori Bruno, CEO of United Launch Alliance, explained that the hold was caused by a slow-to-respond component in the triple-redundant computer system, which is designed to ensure safety by requiring all systems to agree before proceeding to resolve the issue. Engineers needed to get hands-on with the ground launch sequencer, which required draining the rocket of fuel for a thorough inspection. The next available launch windows are on June 5th at 10.52 a.m. ET and June 6th, but mission teams have yet to confirm if these dates will be utilized. Despite the setback, NASA and Boeing remain focused on ensuring that every detail is perfect before proceeding with this crucial mission. Earlier in the day, another issue arose when mission teams reported a loss of data from ground valves responsible for replenishing the rocket's liquid oxygen and hydrogen. Engineers quickly switched to a redundant system, allowing the countdown to resume after a brief delay. Wilmore and Williams conducted pre-launch checks inside the Starliner capsule, ensuring all systems were go for launch. After the launch was scrubbed, the astronauts returned to their quarters, maintaining their readiness for the next attempt. Mark Nappy, vice president and program manager of Boeing's commercial crew program, emphasized the importance of learning from each test flight to improve future missions. Wilmore and Williams, who have been in quarantine to ensure their health, expressed confidence in the mission's safety and readiness. As preparations continue, the mission teams remain dedicated to resolving all issues, ensuring a successful launch of Starliner to the International Space Station. For more updates on space missions and technological advancements, subscribe to our channel and stay tuned. Thank you for watching. Stay curious and keep exploring.